I'm actually going to start recording right now just because uh, there's a, All good. <laughs> it's a... This is a good lead-in. Uh, if it's not broke, don't fix it. I, I yeah, legit... Right. I legit... I swear to God this is true. I legit had a flip phone up until 2014. I think it was. Because it never broke. So... Yeah, I like the flip phone. I'm not sure how long I get mine for, but it was definitely a while. Not that late. Not that late, <laughs> but like definitely, definitely a long time. Because, I don't know, razors were like the shit. I loved that little thing. Dude, know? it, it never... It, one time it died, and it came back to life. Like, I, I, I uh. can't explain it. It just... I don't know. It's... uh. It's like Jason Voorhees or something. It's classic. Uh, but yeah, I legit had that to, till 2014 because it just never broke. And I said, hey, this thing's just never going to break. So I guess it's time to, you know, upgrade and get a smartphone. I and, yeah. still didn't go to iPhone until this year. I was always just on Android and like shitty Androids too. Not even good ones. It was just like if it could access like Twitter and like, you know, <laughs> do the most simple, stupid apps. I was like good enough for me usually. And then... I got so annoyed that it was just it, you couldn't put in like SD cards for these, and yeah. they didn't have a lot of space, and the pictures weren't great. And I wanted, like I said, go on trips once in a while. I want to take a decent picture. I was like, fine, I'll get an iPhone. I finally upgraded, but <laughs> it's not I, until I, this year. I'm glad you're as stubborn as me with this because people think that you know our job is like it, we do, we deal with like high tech equipment, so we should have the highest tech stuff, and it's tax deductible and all that. But like, <laughs> I mean, if again, I, I did the same thing one time. Um, I think one of my phones I had, it was like an expensive phone, it broke, so I'm like, well, this is dumb. I'm just going to get a cheap Android, because it's going to break anyway, eventually, you know? So, got a cheap yeah, Android. Try to get yeah. whatever, whatever is easiest that is most reliable. That's like the best thing you can do. When you work with tech, any, any, in any way, the most reliable is the best option. Oh, yeah. There's nothing worse than just being miserable and things are broken. And you're fucking looking yep. at 2002 forums trying to figure out what the issue was, and you have to watch uh, some guide on YouTube to like test some fix that still doesn't work. Probably it, it's I hate that shit. I've seen enough. Uh, I don't know. I've gotten so much Indian tech support just from like YouTube. I don't know why it's always oh, yeah. just like some old Indian guy. But they, they, they save me. They save me. Yeah, tons of money. Uh, yeah, typically if I try to listen to other people and don't go with my gut, um, they'll usually give me some piece of garbage. Like <laughs> so, I tend to stick with the simple, reliable. Does it get the job done? Less moving parts, the better. And uh, here we are using, you know, ancient tech to record this because it still works. So anyway, man, uh, thank you for coming on. This is, it's weird. I, I, I didn't, don't take this the wrong way. I didn't know about your channel or anything until I would say Cold War uh, because I oh, think, shit. all right, guys, quick sponsor and we'll get right back into the podcast. Today's video is sponsored by AG1 by Athletic Greens. And guys, I've been taking this for the past several months now, and it has literally changed my entire routine during the day. I would wake up with brain fog, but when I started taking AG1 first thing in the morning, I noticed that brain fog just completely dissipated. This does more for me than caffeine ever did. At the end of the day, a lot of the time after, I don't know, some kind of physical activity, I like to take AG1 as well just before bed to make sure I'm getting my nutritional insurance, so to speak. It's a multivitamin, a probiotic, everything in one. It's replaced just um, a lot of my worry in regards to my nutrition. As someone who takes his health seriously and who works out, AG1 is a lifesaver. And it tastes great, too. So, guys, go to athleticgreens.com slash codfather for a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five travel packs free with your first purchase. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash codfather for a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five travel packs free with your first purchase. You can't put a price on your health. Pick up some AG1 by Athletic Greens. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> well, I think the year before that, I had just come back to YouTube. Uh, I, I was off YouTube for... You took a break for a while. I took a long break because it just... Um, I, I couldn't... I mean, it was, it was mostly my fault, but like I couldn't, I couldn't find anything that was clicking. So I'm like, I'm just going to stream, whatever. Like, that's way easier. Um, so I streamed for a while, and then I just randomly came back because I was so angry <laughs> at, at Modern Warfare 2019 when that came out, and it caught on, and I've been getting angry ever since. And... Uh, it is kind of a character, but I mean, it, I, I bring up that I you know, saw you at Cold War or in Cold War because you've gradually 
as I've watched you, gotten more and more angry as well. Um, it, I've and always been mad at the game, but it's lately, just, lately, it's, it's just, yeah, it's so obvious the problems <laughs> though, and it's just. It's more annoying when I can talk to the devs and then they just ignore <laughs> the things I'm telling them. And it's just like, dude, I mean, some things don't get ignored, but that's good. But like, if, if they just took more of my advice, a lot of the times it would be like way better. Like half the UI changes were literally a direct email from me to Pat Kelly, like the lead dev of Infinity Ward. Yeah. I was like, dude, the hub system is worthless. I don't know why this exists. The friends list. I don't know why I need six <laughs> inches by three inches to look at my friend's icon that I don't give a shit about. It's just like I can't see anybody. It's like, this, who made this? This is the most unintuitive shit UI. The UI. And it's it. It's worse than that because, you know, with Cold or not Cold War, uh, Vanguard, they had that MVP screen, and I'm thinking. I remember thinking like, as long as they just don't have this. They're, like, they can't do worse, you know, with the new game. Like, as long as just this isn't in the game, like, it can't possibly be worse. But I swear, this UI is almost as bad, if not worse, than that MVP screen. Because it's like, it, it, it's like these two things. Not thi navigable at it, all. Yeah, it's just not, it's not intuitive. It, it doesn't, I mean, it, they've improved it somewhat since launch, but it's yeah, still bad. It's, it's, you can't put lipstick on a pig. So. Not enough. Yeah, I don't even know if they got feedback about that. I know I played the game like three months before release, and we had not, no access to any UI. Like, yeah, literally, all you could do was it was the launch page, and you could click start game, and that was it. And you were on one playlist, and you could go through like the settings, but that was it. Yeah, like there was really nothing else. So I don't really know if they had much feedback on it beforehand. They uh, probably didn't. Release. They probably didn't, and. To give them the benefit of the doubt, that was probably like an Activision higher up thing, you know, like let's let's be hip and cool and make it look like Hulu. But it <laughs> why why change it if it's not broken? I, I just uh, I remember like thinking back to just uh, not even I mean the most recent games obviously, but just like COD Four, Modern Warfare Two, the original, you know, like three little menus, campaign, multiplayer, bonus mode, you're done. I mean, you could go even more simple than that. Yeah, I even up until last game. You could at least see your fucking party on the party screen, and yeah. it wasn't even there on launch. It was yeah. like they had to add a little button in the bottom <laughs> right so you could see who was in your party. I can't tell who's in my party. Yeah, I can't tell. I'm like, are you in here talking to somebody? And they're like, yeah, yeah. I think so. It, it's just, it's, it's, it's insane. I actually haven't played the game since uh, the start of December, just because I, I can't. Like, I, I, I do this thing, especially the last two years, where I'm like, okay, this game is bad. But it's probably gonna get worse, so I just play like a ton and then stockpile a bunch of gameplay and then, you know. I have a bunch of gameplay stockpile, but I still like doing new things. The problem is a lot of the things that right now in that game are essentially literally just Modern Warfare 19, except made worse. That yeah, that's what's yeah. probably the most annoying. I played MW19 for three fucking years. Yeah, and it's like. You want me to play it a fourth year, but then you just made the movement worse <laughs> and the, the UI worse and you gave me less maps and it's just like all this shit. Like the only good thing in my in my mind about that game is the gunsmith system and like the weapon tuning. I think that was a, a, a good addition. But like mm -hmm. everything else was a downgrade. I like the cam I, I like the new camo system. I think that's better. Yeah, true. Sure, I like the camo system too. I'm yeah. not a camo grinder, so I don't really care that much. But like yeah. I do like that it's a lot easier to get like a gold camo and stuff and right. kind of nicer camos. And if you unlock it for one by doing that gun challenge, it unlocks for all of them. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that it I remember seeing the camo thing and thinking, well, that's one good thing. And then I didn't play a lot of MW twenty nineteen. I just did not like you gotta think that I came from Black you Ops. You play respawn too, right? Like all the time, I thought. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and so yeah. like respawn is terrible in that game. It's good. It's a pretty good search game. I only play search, so it's like it doesn't people, bug me as much. People said that. Yeah, uh, yeah. I remember. I remember like I, I played the game when it came. I played the beta some, and I'm like, well, this is bad. Like this is bad, but I'm gonna give it a chance, you know, because it looks good. It sounds good. That's most people's arguments. Is like it looks good. It sounds good. The gunplay satisfying. I've never, I've never dogged that at all because they do that amazingly well. Um, the devs responsible for that part of the game are fantastic. It's just like everything else. It's just like so many bad decisions, even in that game with the doors and like just a lot of the maps and the visual clutter. You couldn't see anything really. Um, it They did do that a little bit better in MW2, at least. I, I find I can see people a little better. But yeah, it's still not it's, the... it's not that great still. Yeah. <laughs> they also did like that weird change where it was like they got rid of the... Uh... 
nameplates. The nameplates, and now it's yeah. just a dumb red dot. And I get shot through smokes all the time because the red dot shows up, and it's just like, dude. And, and you can, like, uh, if there's no, like, obstruction in the way, because some of the levels don't have, like, coded in, like, I don't know, issues. Like, you can just, you see red dots through buildings and through doors, and it can get you killed, and it's just lame. It's like, okay, well, yeah, I'm not sure yeah. how to fix that. Oh, I, I, one of my favorite things was I, I pretty much only played, like, team modes. For whatever reason, I don't know if, like, I know the game's not doing that well, like, especially multiplayer right now, but... It it truly does seem like every playlist that's like uh just kind of obscure is not populated. Like I tried to play some free for all and it would take forever to find a match in free for all on this brand new brand new ish game. And uh but the respawn modes, like it, it got so frustrating because that's all I could really play. And I remember playing like over and over and just getting so mad because your teammates like name would block like an enemy or something. You know, their name would show up through yeah. four different through. walls. Yeah. And I don't know. With all the feedback you've given, it's not just you, though. Like, I saw Ace going off on Twitter on the, just, like, today. It was pretty funny. Uh, he's never been, like... Like, you guys have communication with the devs. So you're not going to be that mean. You know what I mean? I, I, I have no communication, so I just say whatever. Uh, I still say a lot of bad shit. I'm you do? Surprised I'm surprised. They, they don't get <laughs> yeah. mad at me too much. I, I, I rage out all the time when i talk to him directly i phrase things nicer but yeah all the time i'm just like <laughs> i bring it up like they just they have the devs i know are all really really fucking cool and yeah. they care a lot about the game which is surprising because I, I feel like the the result that we get often is like they don't give a shit but they do yeah i just don't know who's the decision making dude that's like really screwing the decisions up like i mean wanted to put third person and first person in the same modes together huh what that was supposed to be a thing i had to tell him in a call like a year before the game release that's a really bad idea <laughs> that is a really bad idea have they never have they never played a third person shooter before i don't know uh i, I don't know why they wanted third person as much i said it was still a good a good to have third person in the game because some people yeah, really yeah. like third person you it was fun in mw2 success. the original yeah i liked it yeah they had the quote of, it, of yeah. that but like you could see the success of like uh you know h1z1 or PUBG or even fortnite's a third person right so some people really yeah. like third person even in first-person shooters, Gears of War was always a popular FPS that way, or mm -hmm. third-person shooter. So, like, I don't think it's bad to, like, make it, but I also would never put them together in the same modes because it's just, like, very obviously an unbalanced system. If someone has a super, super wide FOV, FOV yeah. they can look over walls while they, you can't see anything. Mm -hmm. It just would be... And I quoted him, and I said, hey, you guys, look, you had third-person in your games. When I died in Search and Destroy in Modern Warfare 2 originally, I could third-person peek my friend and give call-outs. You got rid of it because it was unbalanced. So don't re-add it. It's not... <laughs> you've already done this and gotten rid of it and decided that you had the right decision 11 years ago. Don't <laughs> do not do this again. It's it's It shouldn't be as funny as it is. Like, I haven't played the game in so long because so I'm laughing at a lot of this stuff. Like, it shouldn't be as funny as it is, but, man, like, if I was actually playing it, you know, every single day still, it would not be too funny. Because the fact that, you know, you and I, I know they don't like me too much, but I know that some of them probably see my stuff. And I do I do try to be constructive to, to a degree. It's just like I'm sick. I'm sick of being nice. I'm sick of being constructive. You know what I mean? Like I, I was I think I was pretty nice leading up until uh, MW 2019 with Call of Duty. Like I, I liked it overall still. You know, I like the I like Treyarch's games at least. I like Black Ops Three, Black Ops Four. The other, yeah, I think I think Treyarch's honestly better. Yeah, yeah. Well, because the, I mean, people love Infinity War because they did COD Four, but it's like you realize they made Ghost and Infinite Warfare Two, right? Because <laughs> yeah. those were the last like couple games, and they were shit. And then oh. you got Modern Warfare Nineteen, so it was like, okay, yeah, they, you know, I honestly think that was kind of luck at this point. Yeah. But it, they, historically, their their fucking games have sucked in the last six seven years. I was gonna say, I, truthfully, I haven't liked a game since MW Three. And that's, I, I know people like MW 2019, but I, I mentioned this earlier, I came from Black yeah. Ops 4 to that. Like, I played a lot of Black Ops 4. And then, how, do, how am I supposed to go from Black Ops 4 to that game? Already, it's like a huge, I mean, it plays nothing alike, you know? Already, like, I'm used to this fast arcade no SBMM, you know, like, easy to see people shooter with higher health to this like mil sim thing uh with a 
gunsmith and bad maps and like all this stuff and i i could not like pe people joked you know adapt or whatever and i'm like i'll adapt by not playing it so i just didn't play it but um yeah i haven't liked once i haven't liked their game since mw3 i loved mw3 i thought that was maybe i'm i'm in rare company here but i i thought that was actually their best it was the most fun i thought at least with the specialists and all that but uh I think MW2 was their best, but MW3 was still good. When they made the sit rep change, it really pissed me off. Yeah, like, that was a... It, it really fucked up s &D, being able to sound for people from 50 yards away and oh. still 25 yards with dead silence. Dude, it messed up. It messed up TDM. I mean, it was it was loud. Like, <laughs> it was loud. Because uh, what it did was it, it just canceled it out, but default footsteps were like how they are, you know, the new games. Yeah. So, it, it, that wasn't the best change, but it was so casual. Like, it... I mean, those games didn't have SBMM, so a bad decision wouldn't hold as much weight you know what i mean like it yeah, wouldn't really like a matter. lot of those games didn't i mean they said there was always gonna be this matchmaking but i went back and watched my montages a couple days ago from like nine years ago and i'm like fucking four manning and five manning with oh, a knife dude. and tomahawk and it's like dude i would never build that in my life now like, mm -hmm. it was, was definitely it? a higher priority on your connection versus like purposefully trying to keep you at a 50 percent win rate yeah they they they've always had like a very, very light, like, you know, super protected bracket, I guess. They've, I think they've always had that from what I know from Call of Duty and playing it for 15 years. But and they even had a game mode dedicated to it. Like, yeah, they made it bring to account for like, I think one game. I World of War. It was. World of War. War. Yeah. It Boot was camp. like, yeah, you literally you only could play that mode until you were like level f like 30 or 20 or I whatever. I think they had that for Black Ops 1 as well. Yeah. Treyarch knew what they were doing, you know, put the noobs in like the protected thing, give them. 30 levels or so and then yeah and after that hey, uh, you know you figured the game out at that point it's on you i mean uh i i got good at call of duty like everybody else got good at it i played call of duty 4 i i took my lumps i saw what worked saw what didn't work that's just you know i've never been like uh a super gifted like fps player i i don't think so everybody's gonna learn the hard way and uh i hate that that's I mean, people, I've been over a million times, and you have too probably, but like people don't realize that if they're in a lower skill bracket, they're playing an entirely different game than like we are. You know, if you're in a higher bracket, you're playing an entirely different game than someone new to the game. It's just a different meta, entirely different meta. You can actually, you know, move around without dead silence, probably. You can use weapons that aren't good. <laughs> you know, you could use yeah. perks that aren't good. Uh, there's not UAV spam every five uh, minute, not even five minutes, five seconds, I should say. Um, which that's a huge problem. I don't see how they didn't catch that before the game came out. Just uh, oh, they did. I told them that in the in the beta. Did you tell them? Played. I told okay. them Ghost should be a tier two slot, or you should be able to put like Ghost on right away. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like, you, it's broken that it's a tier three. You've been pushed in that's for uh, quick fix and like quick fix and Ghost in slot two, I think it was. Or no, uh, quick no, fix no, no, in no. slot three, and then Ghost in slot two. Is that it? Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Quick Fix is already in slot three. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I told him, I, mean, I didn't really give a shit if it was in slot two either. I think I just told him, go to slot two, <laughs> overkill to slot three. And if you be good, use overkill, it's active from the start of the round. Good. You just don't get a, a third cool. slot because that would be making it balanced. It's like overkill has been one of the most unbalanced perks for like five years. Just having a second gun fully fucking kitted with all the attachments is just absolutely absurd. It's just the way they use it too. It's, it's usually a riot shield. It's as also well. shit's yeah. like shotgun, shotgun sniper, or like you said, riot shield, whatever. Oh, it's, it's like, you know, I, I do that stuff too for videos, but at the same time, it, I'm not blind to the fucking balance of it. It's, it's yeah. very obvious. No, I, I completely agree. Like it's, I, I how you even thought about like switching uh, if they weren't going to do the perk change like switching counter uav and uav how they behave i don't know why counter uav stands still you know what i mean like why why is it it's so easy to take out so there's no actual even without that it's only four bullets to kill for like every gun and a uav takes yeah. fucking two magazines i don't yeah. understand that either i it's there's i don't know how i mean it, it's it's a testament to how bad the balance has gotten when in vanguard for instance the counter U the counter spy plane was the best thing in the game, you know, like for a, a long time there. I think they finally fixed it to to not stop V two rockets, for example, and other streaks and stuff like that being called in. It was like six months later, but I I don't know how like it's if things are already balanced and you have the blueprints for how they work, just port that over. We we want that ported over. 
we don't want a new UI. We don't want like this new perk system that nobody likes. The time release stuff. I don't know, man. It's just uh, I didn't know you had this much contact with the devs, so it's actually more interesting. You know, like because I watch your videos I, and be like, I, I like I email Pat directly all the fucking time. <laughs> I'm like, I like I tell him when there's enormous bugs in the game and like breaking the whole game. Yeah, that's like I like I I try to. I ask him when like fixes are coming for certain things that are like obviously obnoxious as <laughs> shit. You're an unpaid beta and, tester, pretty much. I mean, they've like, offered to pay me. I told them I wouldn't take money. I just I do it for free because I want to give me better. I don't want them to ever have an excuse that they would be able to be like, oh, we didn't want to pay him to get his feedback. I don't want that excuse to ever be like a viable option. So, now, now, like, see, I'll just do it for free. See, I, I've literally, I've said the same thing. I think a lot of people would. I think a lot of people would actually do that too because, uh, at the end of the day, like, uh. We just want a fun game, you know, and I, the fact that they're raising prices and adding in all this. Uh, did you see the skins they added? The the ones that aren't, like, different? They they aren't even skinned. Did you see that? Oh, like it just looks like, you know, a gray weapon. Or yeah, like a, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know what's going on. I, I, 3,000 devs, I guess, and there's some kind of, I mean, it's a joke, but 3,000 devs and there's some kind of chain of command issue. It's like I when mean, you. The, I don't know how many art guys they have. The devs definitely is not the art team. I know that. Yeah. The art yeah. team is totally different. They could have a, a huge art team, or they could just be like seven dudes sitting in a chair trying to figure out what the next camo is. But the mobile guys seem to do fine. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. Like, COD, COD Mobile seems to be like the best game they've ever made because it has good maps in it because there are a lot of remade maps from good games. They have the uh, pretty sick weapon skins. They have a streamer mode in that game. I've been asking for like five fucking years for that in COD. I can't <laughs> they have a streamer those. mode in the in the mobile game, but yeah, not cannot, the $70 one. Ah, uh, man. I cannot believe they don't have a streamer mode yet. It actually drives me insane. That, that's been a thing for like, yeah, like several years now in other games. So. Getting stream snipe in search is AIDS, and it happens all the time. And it's yeah. just like, I, I ask them. They said they're working on it. And I mean, I know it's still being worked on right now, but it's like, I was told this would be like there on launch. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. I mean, it's weird what gets prioritized, what doesn't. Uh, we don't, we still don't have weapon inspect, do we? To my knowledge. Uh, no, it's in the game. It's in the game. It's in sure. the game. Okay. Yeah, that, yeah. But that wasn't there at the start. Was that it? Uh, I think it was in the start as well, but it was a problem with like Vanguard. I think in Vanguard they were only having weapon inspects for like weapons you'd buy. Oh. It wasn't like for any average weapon. Oh, well, that's terrible. Um, yeah, but it is in, it is in this okay. game for everything, from what I've seen. Yeah, it's weird. Like, every single year, it seems like they'll launch the game, and then weapon inspect's not in, you know, and it gets added later. And I'm thinking, like, this is a feature. How far does this date back, you know? Like, <laughs> uh, Black Ops 3, I think? I was say, it definitely wasn't 2. It was probably 3. I think 3, yeah, around that ballpark. Maybe four, somewhere in that, you know, it, it was in World War II, I'm pretty sure, yeah. So, it's been a while, like, why is this, and it's not like it's a, I'm not trying to downplay, you know, dev teams or whatever, but it doesn't seem like it's that hard of a feature to put in at the end of the day. So, I don't see why it's constantly missing. I don't see why ranked mode isn't there at launch every single time. Um, It's a lot of weird also stuff. I don't know. Yeah. They asked like five months before it released or three months, four months, they had another call with them and they said, you know, we're talking about rank mode in Warzone. I said, just fuck Warzone one. You're not you're <laughs> never no one's gonna care at this point. Just make sure it's there for Warzone two launch and it's still not there. But then again, you don't even stat tracking in Warzone two right now. They can't even yeah. keep track of their wins, I'm pretty sure. So stat tracking was a thing back in COD COD two COD two, I think. Not to mention they do everything they can to like protect these little kids from like making yeah. fun of. Like there's no lobby leaderboards anymore. There's no like combat records I can check of someone else if I wanted to shit talk and probably bad KD. You can't check there's your nothing. deaths. Yeah, you can't check your deaths in the game. Um as, as far as I know. Like it's still off the scoreboard until the very sure. end. Yeah. So uh it does show them in search now. It didn't in Vanguard again. It was like okay. hidden until the end of the game. But okay. still, it's like there's just they, they just keep trying to like make people feel better instead of like trying to make them you know just make a fun game that'll make that'll make a lot of people feel better. Um, yeah, if like if, you, if, if people like the game, they're gonna make themselves good at it. That's just how it works. If they don't, if they don't like they're, it, they're gonna they play it. A shit. Yeah, not even that. Like they're gonna play it. I, I had a buddy of mine who uh, to put this nicely. He was never good, but he loved like being you know, Black Ops Two. Like we played that all the time back in the day. He was never good ever. But, like, he loved playing it. 
and I love playing with them, you know, because I could hop on and it was kind of fun to carry them a little bit. Uh, now nah, I can't do that. Um, if I try to play with, like, let's say my friend's dad, you know, he's literally the meme of, like, the gamer dad in front of the 65-inch TV. If I try to play with him, he has a good time for a bit, and then the lobbies get too hard, and, you know, he's gone. So, um, yeah, come to think of it, I don't think I play with any of my friends, really, on the game anymore. I have one friend that I'll play Cold War with now, because it's not that strict, I guess because the player base is too, you know, divided now between the last two games. But other than that, yeah, yeah I don't really play with with friends anymore because nobody wants to play with me. Um, if I get too good, <laughs> you know, and I'm not, I'm not even that great. It's just if they're average, which most of them are, you know, um, it's not a fun time after a while. So, uh, yeah, and I mean, if I was trying to play. I do with friends that are, but they're a little bit, they're decent at still. But yeah. if they weren't as good as they were, at least mediocre, mm -hmm. and we wanted to do our fun strategies where we go in, we use like a lot of crazy, stupid, off meta shit or try to do stuff. Cause we don't, we don't, I just don't go in and sweat on people. There's no point. Who cares if you get a gameplay with just another AK74U? It's the same gun we used in COD 4. It's like 20 years old. The same <laughs> shit. So uh, I try to use different things. And yeah, yeah. Like, so people would be interested in that. But. <laughs> In the thing, like I said, in the, the meta lobbies that you're in, it's just like, okay, well, how the fuck am I going to use XYZ horrible crap with five friends that are also not as good? So it scales the matchmaking up, and they're doing horrible crap too on purpose to try to get the video. And now we just have to like sit there and suffer for two hours until the matchmaking maybe gives us one lobby where we can pull it off in. That's what people don't understand is like that, that sandbox element's gone with Call of Duty where you could just hop on and be like, today I'm going to use uh, dual wield scorpions, you know? And then, like, you could, if you're good, you're going to use them and still do well. Like, there's no, or I'm going to hop on and use just a pistol only, you know, tag knife only, whatever. Mm -hmm. You could do that. But now I have to throw, like, five games or reverse boost, and people think, like, oh, the game's way better if you reverse boost. It's not. It's the same, like, it's it's the same problem as... When you're not reverse boosting, just the opposite. Like it's it's just boring because it's the same thing over and over. It's it's either you're facing clones of yourself or you're facing people without thumbs every match, and there's not that variety. Like I I miss using whatever I wanted to use. If I'm facing a triart team, I'm like, all right, I'm bringing out the 74U, whatever. I'm bringing out the triart class, and then you know then it's competition. And if you lose that game, you're like, all right, these guys are gonna stay in the lobby, so I'm gonna use the the best shit again. You know, in the next game, yeah. the whole time, and then you, you you know you might beat them that time. They'll leave, and then you'll go back to using your crappy setup for fun. Uh, yeah, it's not fun. Is that's just the big, long winded way of saying that it's not fun. And um, you just suffer. Until you suffer. You get a lobby that is of a lower skill level that you can pull off something stupid in. Yeah, yeah, and there's no telling when that's going to happen. Nope. Um, I, I've tried to uh, I've tried to like predict the matchmaking and what it's what it does and stuff, but sometimes it just seems like I don't think it knows what it's doing either. So sometimes I'll go off and then like I'm like ah the next game's gonna be awful and then I'll somehow go off again, you know. But we um, had, we played after Christmas. We made uh, a full six man team of brand new accounts that we had just like got the game on. Every mm -hmm. single person was level one in the first game we got. We still had tons of level two hundreds in it. Interesting. Hmm. And we're like, I mean, they were obviously not as good as our normal lobbies. You yeah. can tell, but like still multiple level 200s on the other team. Like you would think you'd be a lot of levels just after Christmas, especially like a lot of other levels, like 20s, 30s, 50s, 40s, whatever. There was like maybe one guy at level 35. Yeah. And every single other person was like level 100 to 250. That's we're like, okay, that's how bizarre. the fuck does that work? I did notice on uh, Steam charts, like, the game did not get really a, a bump at all on Christmas. Like, nobody really, it seemed like, I mean, I get it's Steam, so usually yeah. for Christmas you get, like, a physical disc. You know, most of the time. I imagine that's still a thing. I don't know, I'm old. Um, I imagine kids get physical discs of the game. Their parents buy them at Best Buy or GameStop or whatever. So I get that Steam's not the best indicator of this, but I, there, was like, there was, like, no Christmas bump for, for Steam, at least. Um... And what's what's your opinion on the? I mean, it's it's uh, it's weird because you'll get a lot of people defending the game uh, and saying like it's just Steam, it doesn't matter. But like this is the only metric we have to go on. So what do you think about the, just the? 
I mean, it's not just a decline. It's like a sharp decline every single day, it seems like. Um, the Steam charts for this game. And Warzone 2, it's because it's two games in one are just really... I mean, it's going down fast. Uh, and now they had to delay Season 2, so... I mean, that's that's something as well. People are so... Uh, it's, it's mean, but they're, they're so fucking stupid. But it's like, <laughs> they look at Steam charts and like, that's because everyone's playing Warzone. It's like, no, you dumb fuck. That includes it, yeah, Warzone. It's Warzone. That's the free version of the game as well. Yep. It's like, they didn't pay anything. It's still going down. Mm -hmm. And um, DMZ. I mean, it's... it's Yeah, true. It's the free part as well. Yeah. And uh, the <laughs> crappy Spec Ops, which nobody plays. And Campaign. But it's all these games in one. Um, still going down. And... I, I've tried, so we didn't have any numbers at all for the longest time, so I tried to uh, always correlate, like, the subreddit numbers. I'm like, hey, if people are talking about the game, they're playing the game, usually, right? It's, I mean, it's, it's a reach, but I'm like, hey, if people are talking about the game, they're probably playing the game. If they're not talking about the game, if they're not, you know, conversing about it, they're probably not playing it. It's just how human beings work, because yeah. we didn't have any numbers whatsoever before this year. Uh... And I would try to be like, hey, look, like, you know, Vanguard's probably not doing too well. Nobody's talking about it. The subreddit's dead, yada, yada. And then this game comes out, and I show the declining subreddit numbers. And sure enough, I checked just today before this, this you know, little session here. And it pretty much perfectly correlates, at least with Steam, like Steam charts. Like, it goes down. Like, the less people are playing it, the less people are talking about it, the subreddit numbers go down, the player numbers go down. And I don't know if people that are defending this are, are thinking, like, it's just going up on other platforms, the ones we can't see, you know? Or mm -hmm. if it's not going down as sharply. I don't know what they're, what they're dealing Like, I don't see how you can defend it. Because it is the only metric we have. I'm sure if they released the other metrics, it would be a similar downtrend. So they can't be too happy with that. And Yeah, uh, I mean, it might just be... I don't know if it's going to be exactly the same, yeah. but... I still imagine that it's down. It's not it's not like I wouldn't say that the audience with that amount of players being pulled, even though it's PC players, uh, is gonna be drastically different than the console community where it's like they're they're more limited because they don't have very many games you can play on console, frankly, that are, you know, good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. for shooting games. But still, you know, you might they might be playing the free version of the game, but as soon as something else just seems a little bit more fun because I they're they didn't have an update and shit. <laughs> they're just gonna be like, Yeah, I'm done. Yep. And they just go play something else. Yeah, yeah. I mean if CSGO can, you know, top the Steam charts for what, like a decade now, and then this game like in a few months is just completely out of the top ten most days that I check it, it's it's like <laughs> literally behind uh stuff I've never even heard of. So like stuff that's coming out, I've never even heard of it. And I'm like, should it really be this far down? Because it's not just Warzone. It's not just multiplayer. Like, it's it's the free-to-play version. It's the paid version. It's everything in between. So, I don't know. I, I mean, Charlie Intel tweeted that... Uh, they didn't put, you know, direct numbers out either. But they tweeted that the numbers were way down. Like, the holiday bump did not happen. The numbers were way down. And then, like, Modern Warzone said... Like, saying that they're, they didn't meet expectations is, like, an understatement. So, I'm hoping we see some actual good changes, but the rumors are we're getting Castle for Season 2. So that's it, man. That's, is, is that all you've heard, I don't just mean, Castle? I, that's the only rumor I've heard as well. Yeah, I have no yeah. clue. But it's, I, I, it's not enough. I know that. If that's I just, all we get. I mean, they have unlimited resources. I don't think it's me asking too much to get, like, I'm like, hey, can we get, like, two new maps a month? Not even new maps, but like maybe an old map, an old good map, well, and then like a new it's map. It's even more annoying because you know the maps are in the game with Warzone. Like you know there's at least six maps yeah. in the game from like the shit they already have currently made. So like maybe they haven't adapted it to a multiplayer map, but if it's already designed and the assets are done, just adapting it to a multiplayer map is a lot easier than recreating the entire thing from scratch. Yeah, no, so. absolutely. Not only that, but like they have so many maps to just so many blueprints from from games that, I mean, what is it, 15, 15 years? Actually, no, like 17, 18 years now, yeah, of just maps to pull from. Now, a lot of those they pull from suck. Like, they keep bringing back that, <laughs> they keep bringing back, I hate, I hate the map, uh, is it Carentan? I think it's Carentan from COD 2. 
They keep bringing that map. Um, it, it was Chinatown in COD 4. Oh, okay, okay, okay. They reskinned it for that. And then they keep bringing it back. I think they brought it back for COD World War 2 as well. And, like, nobody really likes it, from what I understand. Um, or it's just not memorable. So, yeah, but, I mean, they do that all the time, though. Yeah. Just maps that are not good. Yeah. They brought, I don't know, like, why you bring back... Uh, vacant either like vacants and like you know more people recognize vacant but that is not a good map for multiplayer it's search and destroy it's super one-sided and if you're playing respawn i'm sure it's just shotgun dick riding non-stop it's yeah it was a shoddy sure but like that wears off pretty quick after you use a shotgun for like five or six times and like all right it was never it was never that good even in cod 4 because uh just so many grenades so yeah three times frags made it pretty hard oh martyrdom three times frag you name it um but yeah, like uh, they have so many maps they could pick to bring back, and I'm like, are you really gonna bring? I mean, I'm not. I don't. I, I don't mind that. Like, it sounds like I'm just complaining they brought back shipment and shoe house. I don't mind that you bring those back. That's fine. But how about like two new maps? You know, to balance that out. I don't see why they couldn't just shoehorn in two maps we haven't seen before. You know what I mean? I'm like also it, stuck. Every new map they make seems to be terrible. I'm all, at this point, I'm not sure if I want new maps or if I think you should just remake <laughs> the old ones that are good. Let's see, Shoe House was a map that that was a new map that people loved. Uh, you know, in 2019. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it I'm, happens once in a while. Yeah, <laughs> they just get lucky, I guess. Because it happens once in a while. <laughs> uh, I remember. I mean, God, the MW 2019 maps were so bad, and I'm thinking in my head. Like I, I quit, you know, I quit playing it before Shoe House even came out. So when Shoe House was brought back for MW Two here, I, I I was actually pretty excited because I haven't really played it, and I played it and I'm like, wow, this this map's great. Like this is yeah. a great map. Like w- it's a solid map. What's what's going on? <laughs> like what's going on with the other ten or eleven maps in the game? Well, that's um, the thing as well. Like I, I I don't understand how they have, they could spend so much time creating a mathematical equation to fuck me in matchmaking all day long. Yeah. And you they can't spend any time dissecting what maps are good and why they're good and what games are good and why. Like, I don't feel like we should ever have a fucking bad game or a bad map at this point. There is no like, excuse to have a map as bad as, like, Border Crossing. You know what I mean? Like, that's, no. that's something that, it, it, that... When I first played that map, I thought it was a joke. I thought it was, like, a joke. Like, some kind of weird... What is it, April Fool's? It was October, you know, November... But I'm like, some Thanksgiving Fool's joke or something? Like, it's that bad. Who made that map, played it, and said, ship it? You know, like... Yeah. I don't... Just, I don't know. You look at all the maps. Like I said, you can literally just go down and dissect all the top COD games. And, like, I know it's opinion on top COD, but, like, I would say most people agree that BO2, BO3, mm-hmm. Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3 are, like, in the top five. Mm-hmm. And what what are in those games that are in common and what, like, why people... They attribute to why people like those games. It's mm-hmm. like, all right, go here. This is what we should have in our game because people really like these games and these ones all had it. And then half the shit's not there. Most of it's not there. Yeah. And so <clears throat> you're just like, okay, same thing happens for the maps. People look at a map that's really good. You look at a map like Raid from BO2. Raid is a three lane map with multiple levels to it. So you can, you can be kind of, you know, offset. It's not like a straight line. Yeah. You have some cover in the middle you can rush on all the lanes it's possible to use a rifle and smg or sniper on the map so any type of weapon diversity is all there it's like this is not complicated on to why people like raid why can't you make something <laughs> similar if you play a map and you realize that i can't use a certain weapon on this map very well it's automatically not good yeah you already you already know that your map isn't that great if that's a map where i literally have to be forced like people hated playing uh some of the really small maps in Vanguard because it was all shotguns and double barrels and they nerfed the shotguns a bunch trying to make it better but even with nerfing them it didn't fix the problem yeah it's like hey look you made the map shitty it's you made it so shotguns will completely dominate the map or you made a map where snipers will completely dominate the map and there's no possible alternative you can't really use an smg you can't really use the rifle you can't really use a shotgun on some maps you can't use a sniper because the map's too small you I mean there should be different sizes to maps but you should also be able to look at a map and be like all right, well, we should make lines of sight and lanes that are kind of beneficial to these classes and these weapons, and hopefully that you can use a different diversity. But even then, all the best maps are maps that are kind of medium-sized that have multiple types of weapon diversity that you mm-hmm. can use on them. And it, it's it's so easy to look at. It's just like, why? Like, 
if you go play board like border crosses, there's no fucking way you play that map. You think, yeah, a shotgun's possible here, or an SMG is possible. It's rifle, sniper, that's it. Yeah. Left trigger, never move. <laughs> and if you do move, you're gonna, you know, randomly blow up. Like if you're trying oh, to use the yeah. yeah, yeah. It's it's uh I was just thinking like what you were describing, the first map I thought of was a map that was released fifth like Crossfire from COD four. Like I remember thinking back, I could use a sniper on that map. I can use an assault rifle. I can use a shotgun. I can use an SMG. Like, I can use whatever I want. I could, you know, like, I could play it different depending on, like, if I'm using a sniper, I want to, you know, obviously hang back and hit the long lines of sight. Using a shotgun, I want to flank through the close, you know, quarters. The building, yep. Yep, yep. Um, this is not... I mean, it's not it's not rocket science. It's really not. And um, no, and the I, funny quote is that they're like, "We made the game for everyone." It's like, no, you fucking didn't. If I play a map, it's very obvious how I have to play this. But if I go play Turok, it's a giant <laughs> shithole of snipers camping. I, I mean, I could try to rush. There's maybe one route possible, oh. and it's easily shut down. And so that map does not get enough and wait. That map does not get enough hate, honestly, because people hate border crossing. That yeah. Turok is one of the worst things I've ever. I, I don't yeah, know. Between Border Crossing, Turok, and LS Silo, those are all three horrible maps. Border Crossing is the worst, but LS Silo and Turok are not good either. LS Silo, I that map would be good if they cut out like the back parts. The back parts. Yeah, yeah. It's very obvious too. Why do I can you run so far back? It doesn't make any sense. It's just I don't get it. I don't get. Sometimes I'll spawn. Way in, like you know, in like a domination game or something, I'll spawn at the very back of the map. How is that? Like, I, why do I have to run for for a minute to get to the B flag? You know what I mean? I felt like when I was trying to level up guns in their new mode or whatever. Every time I die, I spent forty seconds running forward to try to shoot robots again <laughs> to level up a gun. It was torture. <laughs> oh, that is a purposely a big map. But that map, I can tell you right yeah. now, everyone we played that mode early, everyone unanimously fucking hated it. <laughs> Everybody, all the creators there were like, that was <laughs> shit. It was way too big. And I just, I'm not trying to play COD to play Battlefield. I don't, if I wanted to do that, I would just go play Battlefield. I don't, and care. it's not even, it's not even like you say that, but like Battlefield, it's big, but there's always something happening. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you'll have okay. to run, but you got to dodge a tank or there's a plane going overhead, you know, something like that. In COD, what is it? You got to stop to shoot a UAV. Which, good luck finding it, you know, because there's a bunch of crap in the way. And there's um, six of them. Yeah, there's six. Yeah, good luck actually doing something to take I don't those out. have enough out. rocket launcher ammo to kill those things. That's another thing. Like, uh, I went back to play Cold War. Um, I, I'm not sure if you're playing. I saw you playing Vanguard just recently. And, yeah, uh, I haven't played Cold War yet. I'm going uh, to do it again. You're going to be shocked. Oh, dude, you are going to be shocked. I played the game just recently. I, I'm going to put Cold War over this little video here we're doing um just because i recorded like a long session but you're gonna be shocked at how it, it's not that it plays faster necessarily it it does obviously because it's more arcadey but it's it's like the little like you don't realize it till you go back the animations the animations are so fast and so smooth in comparison like to shoot down a, a spy plane for instance it would. It takes you four times as long. T time it. Time it when you go back and play Cold War and you shoot down a spy plane. It takes you four times as long to do something like that in uh, Modern Warfare 2. It, oh, yeah. Now, if you went and played original MW2 as well, you can blow a UAV out of the sky really quick. Oh, yeah. And really it's, quick. You reload faster. You got more rockets in Cold War. You could do the, uh, what was it, Danger Close, I think it was, or... Um, one of the weird perk they did something weird with the perk and perks in that game <laughs> uh with that but um you can put on something i think it was danger close you'd get more rockets so you get like four in reserve i think plus the one you you have loaded in okay. uh where's that i think we really need that in this game we need something like that in this game some kind of perk or something because the uav spam is obnoxious counter uav is worthless i don't understand why they changed the counter uav like Maybe they thought it was too powerful in Vanguard, so they <laughs> over-nerfed it <laughs> or something. I don't know. I, I don't understand a lot of the decisions. It's like these decisions are made to just... They're made I for the like sake of I feel like all killstreaks are meant to be bad. 
Oh, they're like, terrible. Except except the UAV, because anyone can get like a couple kills for UAV. But as the higher you get, the worse the streaks become because only the good players will get that and they don't want to punish the bad players for letting good players get good shit. I feel, I honest to God, feel like a 500 pound sumo wrestler with like an elephant strapped to his back when I try to pl just place a sentry gun in the game. Yes, yeah, that's impossible. It's, and the sentry's horrible. It's the terrible. The sentry gun was nuts. That thing, this thing is terrible in comparison. Oh, God. Like I said, I watched my BO2 montage recently. Mm -hmm. You could get a uh, Hellstorm missile. It was seven kills, actually. Yeah. It was a lot back then. But that thing got tons of quads for you. Yeah. I, I, I can't suck a dick to get a fucking <laughs> a, a kill with a Predator missile now. Can't do anything. And like the seventh streak was the lightning strike. Also, you get tons of kills with that. It mm -hmm. was called in really fast. It was hard to avoid. It's literally in the name, lightning strike. It's quick. It's, it's and really quick, And it didn't yeah. give you 10 years to move out of the way of it. <laughs> but now it's like you call on a missile. It takes forever to reach the ground. It never really hits anybody. There is no lightning strike. If there is like the, the strike that you can use, it's a five or a six kill now. And you have to be within line of sight to call it in. And it's still very easily avoidable. Yeah. It's, it's I don't know. It's just the kill streaks are not good. Like That's what made to like BO3. Raps were great. Oh, raps were great. was yeah. great. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, shit. Now, like the Juggernaut now is completely shit. And even in Vanguard, the Juggernaut was the highest kill streak. It could get killed by like two fucking bayonet hits. It could, and it all it also would crash the game a lot of the time. So it was. It's yeah. I don't know. <laughs> kill streaks. They're just doing that all they can to make it so you know worse skilled players don't end up getting punished the way they deserve to be for not being good. And Playing. Like, if you want, if you want to avoid that, get better. That's how it's supposed to work. Playing Cold War again, uh, not only are the kill streaks just meh, you know, like they're just, I mean, they're just so uninspired. I, they don't care anymore. It seems like they just copy and paste from previous games, whatever, you know, nerf it, like you said, make it slower or something like that. But um, the the worst thing in Cold War, and I, I stand by this to this day, I'm actually glad not to see it return, even though I hate the UAV spam in Modern Warfare 2, but the uh, Air Patrol, good God. Well, it was shoot down the other kill streaks. What what were they thinking with that? It's it's easy to get. It's fairly easy to get. Yeah. Um, it takes that out was like mostly a, a respawn problem. That was not an issue yeah, for me at all. Yeah. But yeah, I know a lot of people in respawn complained about that. It's like, dude, this like I don't know, it was like a seven streak or something would kill yeah, yeah. everything that was like a fifteen or fourteen. It was like what? Like, I, and everybody has to run it, it because you have to call yours in to counter theirs. You know when they're running it, and it's so easy to get. So, I mean, you can't even use the chopper gunner. I, I don't understand, like, the, okay, we went from COD 4 and World at War, which World at War, um, when those streaks were revealed, people liked them a lot. You know, you had the spy plane, of course, but the artillery, people liked, and people liked the dogs especially, you know? Like, they love mm. the dogs. They still love the dogs. Um, but going from, like, COD 4 and World at War, those, those three kill streaks, like, those are awesome streaks in those games, respectively. But going from that to, like, Modern Warfare 2, those streaks in Modern Warfare 2, uh, I remember all of them, how they sound. Like, I haven't played MW2 in a long time. I remember all of them, how they sound. The, the, the announcers, you know, calling them in. I talked about this with Nero, like, the announcers. I remember the voices of the announcers. Like, when you call in an AC-130, that announcer shit his pants. Like, shit rocketed him through the roof. He was scared shitless, because, I mean, it's an AC-130. You know, like, it's a big deal. He's screaming, yeah, AC-130 inbound! He's literally yelling, because you're gonna die <laughs> if he doesn't if he doesn't get the point across. Uh, and, like, people, like, that's why people loved MW2. It, it, it brought those crazy streaks. Um, it, it brought just crazy, varied gameplay. MW3 took it a step further, adding in the specialist streak. So you have the assault, the specialist, the, uh, what was the support as well, which people weren't a big fan of that when it came out. But that was rough. Yeah. Uh, the support needed some work. The stealth bomber probably shouldn't have been in support, but whatever. Uh, it's a 13-year-old game, 12-year-old game, so <laughs> it's, it's fine. But, uh, you know, like, there was this progression with the streaks. Like, they kept adding on to it. Uh, Black Ops 2 kind of simplified it. This gave you a lot of cool ones, like a lot of cool assault ones. Like that's fine too, but like there's been nothing. There's been nothing new streak-wise, to my knowledge, in a long time. Black Ops. Um, Final Fantasy 19 added the Wally. Oh that. Yeah. That wasn't a thing before. Not like it's uh, great. It was kind of a little funny. It was kind of the same. I'm trying to think of what that is. That what is that again? Is that the? Uh, I, I didn't play a lot of MW 2019. What is that? It was the uh, the little 
mechanical tank thing. It's like it's not a tank, oh. but like you know, a little turret robot that j- drives around. You see, you think that's new, but that's the uh, was it the AGR in Black Ops Four? The little could be. Yeah. AGR COD Four. Oh yeah, that's that is what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So see, it's not it's not even really new. Um, it says it appears. Well, I mean, that was I guess that was in Black Ops Two as well. No one yeah. ran it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says that's BO2, right. BO2, Call of Duty Heroes, Black Ops Four. Yeah. So, uh, it's I, I I just looked at all the streaks in MW Two and I'm like, there's literally nothing new. And the Juggernaut, like, it doesn't feel special. I don't know. I, I don't get, know why the Juggernaut's the fun. I think that thing sucks. It's just it's I boring. It. It's been a thing since. No, it, I'm it, just a slow moving bitch, and it's just, it's just <laughs> not fun. I don't know why they think that's a cool thing. I, yeah, I, it's just uh, I don't know. I I missed what happened to the swarm. Why isn't yeah, that the swarm was sick? The swarm was sick. I I loved. You brought it up earlier. Raps, raps. I mean, raps I were great. I get that it's modern warfare, but come on, you can think of something. The big when you heard when you heard raps rolling around, you were like, "Fuck, get yep. up!" You're trying to get up off the ground. The um, swarm called in. You're like looking up in the sky, and all these things are flying around. You have to get indoors to try to avoid it. And you can hear the flies yep. down, trying to dodge it. It's such Way a cool better. visual. Juggernaut, lame as shit. So lame. Um, Shows up on the map the whole time, moves slow, easy to dodge. It's stupid. <laughs> I think you can, like, there's some way to instant kill it, too, I'm pretty sure. And dies fast, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I think throwing knives fuck it up hard. The, yeah. the bayonet definitely killed it in, like, one or two hits in Vanguard. It's mm-hmm. just, I don't know. The higher the streaks get, the more disappointing they are. It's, it's... I was actually really complained about, too. I remember in the... Uh, the private test, a lot of the guys that were playing with Chopper Gunner, some of them that got him were like, the Chopper Gunner is terrible. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, I just never, I actually just never used it because of that. I've never equipped it. There's no point. Like, it's just no point. Um, In in regular, lo- like, if you're playing legit, not reverse boosting, there's no point. Like, I would argue there's no point to not run UAV. That's a double negative. There's no point not to run UAV on every single Every single like lobby, every single skill level, just run UAV. Like you're well, dumb if you're not running it, you know. Yep, I store in Harrier because I don't know. It's yeah, not as good as it used to be, but it's a little reliable. Uh, I just run this. I, yeah, I run Harrier, um, UAV. Some, some people run Cold Blooded too, so it's like it's almost always it doesn't really do that much. It's yeah, like, but yeah, it's I, I I don't know. It's like the things I was thinking. I was thinking just today before this little session we're recording, like. What even like what is in MW two that even relates it back to the original MW two? Like, is there does it does it feel similar at all? Is there anything that even makes it feel like an old school Call of Duty like that? Like, because what what's it like? Is it trying to be? And here's the thing: like, it's trying to be this. I think it's trying to be like a uh, <laughs> mill sim thing, which is why they nerfed jumping and you know take out slide canceling and stuff. Um. But, like, people still jump, but you just have to kind of pre-do it. Like, there's still this yeah. weird movement that's not what they're intending. So just take, are they just going to take out jumping altogether? Like, next next uh, game or something? I don't know, but. I don't understand that either because people can play. Like, I said that it should be added back in. Jump shotting, I think, is a necessary thing to challenge people camping. But mm-hmm. people are like, oh, I don't want people jumping around in my game. And it's like, you realize they can just snake and drop shot you the whole time too, dumb fuck. It's like, nothing changed here. There's still some broken move mechanics that are not properly working how they should be. And you can mm-hmm. still use them. The only benefit of being able to jump shot is you can kill someone camping in a corner waiting for you. Yeah, like, no. That's, that's the only nice thing about it. It's not like... People are going to jump around everywhere. I'm not jumping while walking in a straight line. I just need to jump to challenge the corner camper who deserves to die for camping. I know he's there. I should be able to push him. But with the current game and the audio, I can't ADS my gun when I jump. I can't, you know, uh, sneak up on anybody because I'm just being sound heard the whole time. It's just, there's nothing I can do. Camping is the best strategy. Picture, picture a wall, just like a wall. And there's two people, like two call of duty players on on each side of the wall right um if you don't have proper movement like if you don't have snappy proper not not advanced movement although that helps but if you don't have proper movement then there will like the player that rounds that corner will always be the player that pushes will always be at a disadvantage always yeah the guy that dies yeah he's dead every single time so I'm thinking in my head, like, did, did, I don't know. 
as an Infinity War dev, how do you not see that? Like, do you just want both players just to not move? You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I mean it's, it's been brought up. Me and Jay got in a call, definitely said some shit like that. We're like, dude, we can't, between the audio and the movement and everything, we can't push these people camping. There's no way to beat them. And I think in an email, too, I said, like, hey, look, you can make an invincible camping class in this game if you want it. You can use Tac Mask EOD. You can use, uh, you know, uh, Cold Blood in the Perk 2 slot. You can use Ghost in the Perk 3 slot, and there's nothing I can do to counter it. I can't stun them. I can't flash them. I can't grenade them. I can't shock charge them. I can't mm -hmm. drill charge them. I can't do anything. They will always be able to sit in a head glitch and beat me and sound for me as I push them. I cannot win the gunfight. There's no way to do it. Yeah, no. and uh... That was before the game released, so. That's that's I mean it's gotten worse since MW 2019 and MW 2019 I mean that was a game again I I came from Black Ops 4 uh I mean I I loved Black Ops 4 it wasn't perfect but like man it played so fast you know it was just something I could hop on um had a crazy win streak in that game I streamed I streamed that win streak I think it was like 324 straight wins just playing with stream people not even communicating mm -hmm. not doing call outs or any of that stuff. Just playing normally, you know. Uh, 324 wins. We lost. We lost that win streak because the server crashed. <laughs> we didn't even lose. Lose. And like going from that, where I can move and play fast and rush and do whatever I want, the MW 2019, to me was just like, I I could not do it. I I could not go back to playing that slow. And that that game even plays faster than the MW the current two. Current one. Yeah. yeah. And I, I'm like. How do we, I mean, that's what people complained about the most with NW 2019, like, hey, there's too many doors, the doors slow down the gameplay, the gameplay's slow, you know, like, can we do something about it? And then they take out some doors, and then make the gameplay slower, so it's like, one step forward, two, three steps back, I don't know. Um, we could complain all day, though, but the fact that, like, you, I, I, I mean, you could tell them, you know, you could tell them all this stuff, like, you have great ideas, Ace has great ideas. Nero has great ideas. I think I have great ideas. I, I even put this up on Twitter, and I said, Hey, Sledgehammer, I think I said it nicely, uh, when Krampus was a thing, right? Krampus was... Did anybody like that? I'm going to pull the comment section here in this video. No, it gets it gets made fun of yeah. all the time. Even even in the private calls, people make fun of it, and they're like, God, we, that was a bad idea. It was so bad, and I'm thinking... I remember thinking just for for five minutes... I'm not saying I'm like like Einstein here, like caught Einstein. I remember thinking just for five minutes, I'm like, what what could they do to just make this better? Like, what could they do to make this work? And I, I thought in my head, I'm like, oh, uh, make camp, uh, Krampus a kill streak. Make him a kill streak that replaces dogs for Christmas. That's it. it. That's a better idea than what they came up with, which is just have them randomly show up. But see, here's the thing. You actually have to be kind of good to get it. Whereas... You know, it could just show up and kill little Timmy No Thumbs going, <laughs> you know, nine and eight. Krampus also griefs good players, which is the oh yeah reason why. Yeah, it's like the good players suffer more than the bad players usually. Yeah, yeah. I I played a bit and I was going off, and then of course he shows up. Um, when Vanguard was in its heyday, if it ever had a heyday. But <laughs> how is it, by the way? I saw you playing it. I didn't watch your video on it yet. Um, how oh, is it? Fine. It was, it was mostly just the, the audience who plays it is more enjoyable than... It still has its problems, for sure. But I played Vanguard longer than most people did. Yeah. I was like six months in, I was still playing it. And then I just got a little tired of them not properly updating things, which is still proven to this point where I went back and used the exact same classes I had from then, and they still kill everybody. So <laughs> they still have not properly changed the things that they should have. And... Uh, that was the main reason I stopped playing. But most people just didn't like it compared to Modern for 19. They just didn't want to deal with the same stuff. And Cold War, people hated the movement and like, ah, oh, this movement feels terrible. And it's like, well, look what you're playing now. So, <laughs> now there is no movement. How, how bad was it, really? Yeah. In no. Cold War, I can tell you right now, I can jump shot people on Cold War. In pretty yeah. Hard. You can't fucking do that now. So I, I jump shot. I, I play Cold War. I jump shot. There, there's jump shotting in this video, I'm sure, um, that I'll be putting on gameplay wise. I, I just don't get how... And there's no... Like, if you take all three of these games... All three of these games... MW2, Vanguard, and Cold War... This is what's so frustrating about being a Call of Duty fan... Is that all three of these games... Have really good parts to them. Really good parts. But all three of these games... Are overshadowed... By the negatives. 
Now, yeah. now there's, there's no way you want to trade like just the gunsmith for having worse movement, worse maps. Where it's like, mm -hmm. I'd rather have those things back and fuck the gunsmith part. Uh, Vanguard had great, and I, I praise this since it came out, but uh, I loved the like the blitz mode, you know, just like blitz, and then you're more S and D, but like uh, in respawn modes, blitz and assault and attack. I think they got rid of tactical or assault one. I think it was assault. They got rid of the uh, the middle one. Yeah, was, yeah. I think it was assault. But yeah, like tactical and blitz. That's that's a great feature. That's a great feature. You know, I don't yeah, think broke the game though. Yeah, how so? It, it was it was actually making it so the matchmaking would take super super long to find games. It was because oh. of their fucking thing. So they had to. That was one of the reasons they removed it. It was like I liked the feature as well, but it was causing major matchmaking issues. I see. Okay. Um. Yeah. Great feature if I they could. Like if they could. Yeah. Iron out the iron out the bugs with it. But uh. Yeah. Like a great feature. We'll never see it again. <laughs> yeah. Probably. No. Yeah. Um. Cold War. Like I really liked the well. Treyarch just has better maps. Like I mean, even the new maps they make, they're better maps. They're just they're good maps. Maybe they're not legendary. You know, they're not like raid or whatever. They're not they're not uh, standoff raid. Um, they're not uh, maps like that. But like they're solid. Like I, I like Treyarch maps overall. They know what they're doing with maps. They know how to make maps that play well primarily. And um, I don't know. Like they do that really well. I think they do just balance overall like they seem to balance movement like they have that faster pace movement so you, you take the movement and and the maps from like a Treyarch game the gunplay and the gunsmith from an infinity ward game and then vanguard can handle like you know the the not the matchmaking but you know the, like the blitz and the uh the, the the different matchmaking modes i guess mm -hmm. and you combine all those things into one and it's a pretty good call of duty even with sbmm it's not perfect not, yeah, I'm not asking for perfection. I just want something playable. Like, I mean, I don't know. If I look back fondly on a game like Call of Duty Ghosts, you know, just because it didn't have SBMM and it had some good ideas, like, that's a problem because that game sucked. Um, so, yeah, I wasn't either. No, it was... After Black Ops 2 especially, Jesus Christ, who would... I went back to BO2. I yeah. I Ghost for, like, it was the first game I'd ever quit, like, early. I got to like second prestige. I was like, this is just way worse. Oh, I didn't Stop. make it. I, I didn't make it to whole prestige. I, <laughs> I quit. Um, uh, one Stonehaven match too many, but all the maps weren't really that great in that game. And then they went to Infinite Warfare, which I just thought was a poor man's Bo3. And I was like, eh. Infinite Warfare was much worse. I don't think it was. I just think it was worse in every way. That was not a good game to me at all. I know people. I know it has its fans. I mean, it's not like I, I played it a bit, and I'm like, it's not. I don't think it's bad. I just don't think it has... I, I just don't see a reason why it exists when Black Ops 3 exists. I guess that's how I felt about Ghost 2. I'm like, why is this a thing when BO2 is a thing? Why even bother? You know? And then I guess Infinity War got mad and then made... MW 2019, but... Uh, yeah, I think it's what you said. I think they just get lucky, truthfully. I hate to say it. Yeah, or they stole things from Fortnite. Yeah, that too. They're like, oh, Fortnite's a popular BR? We can make a BR. Fortnite has like a battle pass. We can do a battle pass. <laughs> Fortnite has, uh, I don't know, individual weapon skins and like the, uh, what is it? The, I don't know what they called it. The sprays. Like we can yeah. do sprays too. Sure. Fuck it. Oh, dude. Uh, that reminds me. They ripped off Overwatch for Black Ops 4. And they ripped off Titanfall for the advanced movement cards. They were just ripping off stuff that was popular. Pretty much. I don't know if Titanfall was popular, but, but yeah, that's uh, true. But yeah, I mean, I, in in general, I feel like the only time they're making good cods is when they're able to see another company do something good and then copy it. That's sad, but yeah, I'd rather them just steal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like at, at this point. Um. Well, anyway, man, I, I think that's gonna wrap it up here. I won't keep you too long. But uh, final question here: favorite favorite cod map of all time, and explain why. Uh No, nope. he was really good, but I'm gonna think I'm gonna go back to probably Corey. Corey, I really liked Corey. Really, and I spawned two people on that all the time. Number two is so funny. Interesting. You could spawn two up the top, but then it was still good with rush routes. It was like not just uh, it was not just for spawn tubing. Even though you could do that, you could snipe yeah. on that map. You could rush with an SMG. You could use a rifle. 
there were routes that you could go to the middle, you could go to the outside, you go up the hill. I think that map was in general good. I'm glad they finally remade it. High Rise is also great. I'd love to see that back too. But I loved Quarry. I'm glad they remade it. And it looks really cool in Warzone right now. So I'm I hoping haven't... that's the multiplayer map they'll bring back for us. I haven't seen it in Warzone. I, I fear, sadly, they're going to save all those maps for that uh, year, yeah, the year next two year DLC. two bullshit. Yeah. You know? Which, God, I mean, I, I, I get it. You know, if you're not making another COD, I get it. But at that point, just re release Modern Warfare 2, like the original one. <laughs> you know, um, they got to be sitting on it or something for a rainy day because, or maybe they're just, they don't want to admit that if they release that game and just keep it how it is, no SBMM, you know, just like, you can even keep Nuke it'll, 2. It'll, it'll show that they just messed up the whole time. Yeah. Uh, I think, I mean, I think they're afraid that it'll actually do well. And yeah. then. You know, all the time they've spent these years was wasted. It's literally the game worse. Literally just like the design philosophy. I, I think before was just the devs make the game as they're making it. They're like, hey, you know, it'd be fun like this. And then balance kind of be damned. The old CODs were never really balanced. You know what I mean? Like not until Black no, there's Ops. There's always some things definitely. Broke. Yeah. Not until about Black Ops 2, I think. I think that's the probably the most balanced out of the box. Call of Duty, um, but like, it didn't matter. But if it's in a casual setting, like COD was never taken super seriously. So, you know, noob to me, commando lunge me upstairs, whatever. Um, it's fine. But now it's like they, I don't know. The the first question is not, hey, how can we make this fun, or is this fun? Let's add it to the game. The question is like, how can we protect noobs, or like, how can we keep people playing the game? How can we keep people? buying skins yeah and that's legitimately the main issue and like you they have so much knowledge to pull from they have you making videos you giving them direct feedback even in in emails um oh and calls and face to face when i go out there all the time. yeah everywhere everywhere and not just you it's, it's a, a, so have it tons yeah. of people yeah yeah ace uh nero me everybody um and i get i'm not the nicest person when it comes to airing my frustrations, but, like, I mean, you know, there's tons of others that have great ideas and stuff, and uh, I watched Ace's video just recently of him rebalancing the perk system. I don't know if you saw that, and I'm thinking... I haven't. Uh, it's a good watch, and I'm thinking in my head, this is one guy, you know, <laughs> this is one guy not getting paid to, to do this, and his perk system is better than what they have. Like, if they just want to take his idea and just copy and paste it, I don't think anyone would complain. I don't think anyone would. I don't think Ace would be upset. You know, just literally. I mean, no. the, the man's a free beta, like beta tester. You're you're a free beta tester. So, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I can't explain it. I mean, I like I said, I told him in a call directly. Go be better in the tier two slot, and I gave them like six different reasons, and all <laughs> of them made sense. And they said, "Yeah, we'll try it internally and see how it plays." And, Maybe that happens at some point, but still not now. That was two months ago. <laughs> I don't so. think I don't think they play the game. <laughs> I don't I don't think they play their own game. Oh, they play, but they're horrible. Oh, like their highest KD is like 0. 0.9, 0. 0.8. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. Like the good the good players on the dev team have a one KD. That's a bit frightening. Um, yeah, they're they're all not very good. Oh, well, I think we just answered the whole hour long like little podcast here. Like we answered the question. Um. Yeah, I think you do need good players to uh, at least... I mean, they, they, they do ask the pros, too. Like, uh, there's pros yeah, on I calls mean, sometimes, but they, you know, the pros are upset about the CDL, too. They get feedback for the CDL and things that they should have changed, and the CDL just kind of spits in their face. And they have to pay millions of dollars to be part of the franchise for that, and then it just makes, it makes the team owners super unhappy. And they talk about it, too. I kept they can't talk about it too much because it, like, yeah, yeah, getting look, a fine for it or some ridiculous... Skunk things. got fined quite a bit, yeah, for his outspoken stuff but like i mean that's the thing it's like it's one of the reasons i'm not nice because i'm like i've been nice i don't get there's nothing changing so i'm just gonna not be as nice and yell a little bit and um it is kind of funny to see even nice nicer people uh kind of just go off because <laughs> i don't know like you were definitely more positive back when i you know discovered you on cold war than you are now not not it's not like nine and day. It's not nine and day, but you know what I mean. Like it's now I'm watching your model for two videos, and I'm thinking like Jesus, Marksman's like being like angrier than I am here. 
Like he's yeah, they're not fixing anything. Yeah. I, I just, I've seen all the feedback they've been given. I've been there for all of it, for most of it. Yeah. And it's just like hard ignored or <laughs> literally like what they did last year. They went out, they took, they fucking put a big update out that caused a million bugs and then went on break for Thanksgiving and then oh, apologized. And they came back and say, we won't do that again. And they fucking did it again <laughs> the next year for Christmas. I'm like, dude, like I get it. It's a different company, but what the <laughs> fuck? That you literally just made this mistake and apologized for it and then did it again. Dude, that bug, that 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 bug update or whatever where they that, that was when they combined Vanguard into Warzone or whatever and they they broke every game for yeah, Thanksgiving, yeah. yeah. Uh Thanksgiving Christmas. I I legitimately don't think I've ever been that angry just because I'm thinking in my head like they broke the game I'm playing. But like, if I were were playing Warzone as well, or if I you know switched CODs or whatever, like I couldn't play. Like I literally could not play. Like how does this get past internal testing? Is there internal testing? That update made me furious because it literally broke. I think it broke MW 2019 the worst. Um, surprisingly, like I, the bug list it looked like a Bible. You know, from people on Reddit. Oh, even now, They're, when they put out patches, it's just like it's just like. An entire list of fixed, 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 fixed. Like, how the fuck can all this be broken? The the uh, the mic every bug. time. The mic every time. Yeah. The, the mic bug took them a month, and yeah. I get, I I get again. I get. It. I'm not a dev, you know. <laughs> I understand, but a month, and you could say it's ah, oh, it's Christmas, you know. Like they ha- they have unlimited resources, B- billions of dollars, billions with a B. Unlimited resources, so there, somebody will work on Christmas. Hell, I'll I'll work on Christmas. Like, pay me enough, you know. Yeah. So, um, anyway, I I don't want to get. I'm getting more heated here, but um, <laughs> uh, that's an interesting map, though. Um, very interesting map. I don't think I've ever heard Corey as like favorite map of all time. Usually, it's you know like backlot or or uh, ra- you know raid or standoff. Yeah, raid's great. I love raid. I love raid. Love standoff. I just really liked Corey. I really it's like a cool, it's a cool map. I really like it's a weird one. I really like Overgrown actually. That's one of my favorites of Overgrown's all time. Overgrown's cool. Yeah. Um that was one too. Like it looks like a sniper map, but I used to play it with like an SMG. I used to flank with an SMG. Yeah, and, I used to like literally just go near the bomb site and Overgrown and mm-hmm. lay down in the grass and try to like get people coming to the bomb. It was just funny to do for me. Yeah. It just I don't know. I I wish they would bring Actually, that's a good idea. Just bring back COD 4 maps, but maybe don't add so many doors. And um, and don't change stuff. Like they changed. Time maps still were not that great. There was there were some good ones, mm-hmm. but like there's still a lot of just hard mediocre. I say just bring back the classics. Like uh, nobody's gonna complain about Crash or Backlot unless they change it. They, they changed those two maps quite a bit. Yeah, with yeah. MW 2019, and I'm like, why? Just just don't. Just it's less work. Just don't change it. Bring it back. Don't add doors. You know, I, I made a video one time, um, I can't remember which one it was, but it was just going through all the doors they added in Crash, and it was something like 30, I think, like 30 some odd doors they just added in, and I'm like, why even, like, just don't even do it, literally don't do it, it's less yeah. work, but uh, anyway. change things for the worse, unfortunately, a lot of the times, it's most of the time when they hard copy something, it actually is perfect, but... Mm-hmm. When they uh, they hard copy bring stuff back, yeah. yeah. When they bring stuff back, it's usually worse. Scrapyard, all the things you couldn't shoot through the walls, all the fucking metal was like one millimeter thick, couldn't shoot through any of it. So people could just infinitely camp, and you couldn't really challenge them or get rid of them. Mm-hmm. Um, Backlot was a good one. It was almost carbon copy remake. Uh, hard hat, they moved the bomb site and search, made it really much worse. I don't know why, like it was way worse because of that. Uh, Should have left the bomb sites where they were. Yeah, I mean things like the carbon copies end up being pretty solid. Yeah, they, they, they copied, I think, Shipment 1-to-1 from COD 4. And from what I hear, I, I stopped playing before. I have no de- I honestly have no desire to play Shipment. I have been playing it for 15 years. I don't grind camos, really. I don't care. You know, like, whatever. Um, but they, they copied it 1-to-1 from COD 4. It's, like, exactly the same. And it's the best Shipment. Like, people have been, been praising it. Like, it's the best Shipment they've had for years. Just copy and paste. <laughs> like at this point, just copy and paste what's not broken and what works, and then I don't know. Get get somebody get Treyarch to help with all the new maps or something. I I don't know what the, I don't know why there's such a big yeah. quality dip between 
Infinity Ward's maps and like Treyarch's maps. And people were saying like these maps are better than MW2019's maps, but that's not saying much. That's not saying much. And I don't even know if that's necessarily true because um I think I honestly think Border Crossing's worse than Piccadilly, which I don't I don't know how they managed it, but they did. So <laughs> um anyway, yeah, I I I don't want to start ranting again. I'll let you go, yeah. but all good, all good. Hey man, thank you for coming on. This was great. Um Oh, thanks for the invite. It was fun. And uh how long have you been watching me, by the way? Just out of curiosity. I swear I was watching you even when you weren't when you weren't playing beforehand. You were, I mean, I remember the old videos, but mm -hmm. did you I swear you do you stream Hearthstone for a while? Yeah, yeah. I got really yeah, into yeah, that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so like you know Wildcat. We play a lot mm -hmm. of Hearthstone. So yeah, I watch yeah. you play Hearthstone a lot. Yeah, me and Wildcat got the legend, I think. Uh or he got yeah, the I did legend. Too, with, yeah. with Jade Druid. <laughs> yeah. So, um yeah, yeah, okay. Just curious. I'm old, so yeah, Always. I remember when you were not. I remember the old videos, but like I said, you stopped for a while, and I was like watching your stream for a bit with Hearthstone as well, because I was like, "Ah, eh, Hearthstone's fun." That's going down the drain. Unfortunately, it seems like that isn't the uh, the popular card game nowadays. There's that new Marvel Snap that's kind of taken over at the moment. Not sure if that'll hold up either, though. Uh, yeah, I think card games are a little. I'm not really into uh, any anything like that anymore. Too much RNG. And... RNG by the fucking system. Yeah. Yeah. It pisses me off. Or the matchmaking. I swear they have the same matchmaking system. You play a <laughs> slow deck and you'll just play the fastest fucking decks ever. You switch to a fast deck and you'll play like a control deck that it's like medium pace to beat you. It's like they purposely counter cue you the whole time. It drives me nuts. Um, That sounds like modern day gaming. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds oh, like modern day kills gaming. Me. Um, well, either way, man, this was, uh, it was a blast. Hopefully the audio turned out well. I've, I've not stopped to check. Um, I, I did this with Nero, and I just did like a two-hour. His was like over two hours. And I'm like, man, I hope this audio doesn't mess up, because sometimes it just will. But yeah, um, I, I know the same thing, recording stuff. Like, you don't even know it if you're recording, but mm -hmm. when you're streaming, all the chat freaks out. Like, yeah, things messed up, and you fix it. But I've had the same thing where I record for like an hour, and it's all like fuzzy audio. And I'm like, oh, my God, it's yep. wasted. That happens. I recorded a video like the other day, and I was just talking into a muted mic. The entire time <laughs> so that's always fun anyway man this was a blast uh thank you for coming on uh thanks for complaining with me it's just, this is just our video <laughs> our normal videos just like i mean that's mostly what this whole thing's gonna be just me complaining with other COD, all the things all other cod content creators but uh and you guys can let me know who you want to see next in chat and uh or comment the comment section and i will catch you guys later go sub to marksman i'll leave his stuff in the uh, pin comments and the description. I'm sure you've heard of him if you've heard of me, but if you haven't, go check him out. He's got some great ideas. He's also angry, so give him a listen. If you oh. couldn't tell, you know <laughs> he's also uh, a disgruntled COD veteran. Every day, it's you know? just a test of patience. <laughs> Man, you play more than me. I I don't know how you do it, honestly. I I I would have tapped out. Like there there's there's a legit, I guess, talent. A lot of COD concert content creators have that i don't have to keep playing the game like i just well, I wish i was out. better i needed I, the, the guys that stream it for like seven hours a day i don't know how they do it oh i, I can't i couldn't i can't uh i mean you do more <laughs> than i do i can't imagine even seven i, I can't imagine I, I literally can't imagine playing this game one hour a day at this stage like i'm just i'm out i'm just out i'm yeah, drained three is my limit usually oh. <laughs> it's as far as i can get <laughs> <laughs> anyway man good luck with the three hours um yeah the three hour sessions and i will Catch you on the next one. Have a that good one, everybody. Good. Talk to you later. Peace.